So hi everyone, we're here uh, for our fourth update from our season beginning from last year. Uh, we have been to the well, we've heard about what's going on across crisis of churches across the world. We've heard about Yahalam Atam last week and this week we're here to see the Welcome Cafe. And I'm just going to bring you into the Welcome Cafe and show you a little bit about what goes on here when we run the cafe. So what is the Welcome Cafe? Uh, there's three things we're trying to do at the Welcome Cafe. So the first thing is we want to enable friendships. So here we have Ukrainian, Syrian, Afghan refugees uh, in the cafe having lunch, making friends with one another, also making friends with our volunteers. We have volunteers from City Church, but also from uh, six other churches in York, which is really good. The second thing we're trying to do at the Welcome Cafe is um, enable integration. So. Uh, refugees often find it hard to integrate into the life of the city uh, so we help them in that by kind of being friends with them but also by introducing them to lots of different support so today we've got support from six different organizations here in the hall everything from the job center to refugee specific organizations and the last thing that we're trying to do at the cafe is um, enable the organizations that come along to work alongside each other we just find that by putting them all in the same room and um, they get a lot more done and uh, the, the, the assistance for supporting refugees in the city um, is a lot more efficient. Yeah, so over the last year, um, we, we relaunched the Welcome Cafe uh, to be one holistic environment that included all the different refugee groups that we're supporting. And uh, you'll see some of that going on behind me. Um, on a normal week, we, we welcome in anything between 50 and 60 different refugees. And um, it's been a real year of kind of trying things out, um, but also kind of working alongside all those different organizations that I talked about earlier on. And it's been a real blessing to us as a church to be able to support them, but also just to see the fruit that comes with that, you know, refugees getting jobs, uh, people settling here, um, people making friends. Um, I, I heard a story a few weeks ago, just, you know, two Ukrainian ladies that just happened to be the same age and they made friends here and it just, it helped them so much just to kind of settle into the city um, here. Uh, so this is the Welcome Cafe, you know, um, we, we do this every other week here at the Citadel and it's something that serves the city really well. Okay, so what's one thing that you can pray for? Um, well, I could answer that with about 10 things, but I just want to give you one. Um, there's a great need for housing um, amongst the refugee community in York and lots of people come to the cafe trying to find housing, whether they are Ukrainian people that have lived with a sponsor and are now looking to move into their own place, or it's the kind of backlog of, of Afghan refugees that we know are waiting in hotels, waiting to try and find homes. So I'd love to, you to pray for the miracle of housing uh, for many of our friends and people that come to the cafe each week. Uh, thank you.